A marble is dropped from a height of 3 meters onto the ground. After hitting the ground, it bounces back and reaches 80% of the height from which it was dropped. Nice. This repeats multiple times. Each time it bounces, the marble reaches 80% of the height previously reached. Eventually, the marble comes to rest on the ground. Actually, it doesn't. It keeps bouncing. It can't rest on the ground. Finally, it keeps bouncing with 80%. But it's negligible. What is the maximum distance that the marble travels from the time it was dropped until it comes to rest? Nice. There's a marble here at a height of 3 meters. This is. It hits and it bounces back. So what? This distance is 2.4 meters. Why? Because it reaches 80% of its height. And then it falls down bounces back to a point here. What is this side? This is 2.4 into 0.8. Goes back, comes down, next step, bounces back, comes down, next step, bounces back, comes down and so on. Nice. So this distance is 2.4 into 0.8 that into 0.8, that into 0.8, that into 0.8 and so on. So we've got ourselves a beautiful geometric progression. What are we adding? We're adding 3 plus 3 into 0.8 plus 3 into 0.8 into 0.8 and so on. Not just a geometric progression, it's an infinite geometric progression. We know the formula for that, we add that all up, we get it as, we get the overall thing. Except, think about the distance the marble travels, it bounces back and goes down, bounces back and goes down, bounces back and goes down. You have to count both of that. So the three meter down is fine. That is gravity. After that, it bounces back and comes back, bounces back and comes back. So each of these 2.4, 2.4 into 0.8, that into 0.8, that into 0.8, all of those will have to be counted twice. So three into 0.8 plus three into 0.8 into 0.8. This is an infinite GP, this is an infinite GP. For the first infinite GP, A is 3, R is 0.8. Second infinite GP, A is 2.4, R is 0.8. Plug in the formula for this, plug in the formula for this, we are through. Right? Or calculate this infinite GP twice over and then add 3. That is this distance. And so let's do by the second method, 2.4 by 1 minus 0 0.8. 2.4 by 0.2 which is 2.4 into 5 which is 12 everything from here on one direction is 12 both direction is 12 into 2 24 plus 3 27 27 meters I think this is uh, I, I, I simply don't specifically recall my physics but if I'm not wrong we're discussing about the coefficient of restitution or how much it bounces back based on the elasticity of, 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 of whatever, whatever and then how much it comes back to and that's what you're looking. But hey, I studied my physics long time ago. I will look it up. I will look it up. In the meanwhile, if any one of you has it, please put it down in the comments. I would love to read through it again. Right?